If you guys click this video to learn a specific strategy so you guys can make some money, you guys click the right video. So make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn the post notifications. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dion Chavez and today I'm going to teach you guys the best strategy in 2021 for HFX, for Forex, and for binary options. Yes, you can use all three. You can use this specific strategy with all three. So the best indicators that I use right now that I have been experimenting for over two weeks is the MACD with the RSI stochastic. You guys can see right here, it's clear. So for the settings for the stochastics and RSI, you just leave them on default. Do not mess with them. So I'm gonna get into further detail on each one and then I'm gonna you know show you how to trade. I'm going to trade on binary options slash, slash HFX, guys. So make sure to follow me on Instagram, DC underscore flight 421, if you have any questions. But let's get started. All right, guys. As you can see, the stochastic RSI, when they cross, and as you can see right here, when they cross, and the red line is above the blue line. That means it's going for a sell. As you guys can see right here. But you guys can see right here, if the blue line crosses and it's above the red line, that means it's going for a buy. As you guys can see right here. And if it's over here, all the way down here, that means it's oversold. It's overselling. So eventually it's going to have to go back up. You guys can see right here, it went back up. As you guys can see, if it passes right here, that means it's over buying. So eventually it's going to have to go down. As you guys can see right here, it's going down already. So that's a little bit about RSI. Now, moving on to MACD, guys. <clears throat> this is is a great indicator as you guys can see it's the same thing if the red line is above the blue line that means it's going for a sell as you guys can see right here it's going for a sell but let's just say right now it's in the overbought right now so eventually it's gonna have to go down <clears throat> so just say this was on right here in the middle right here between the red and green that is a great indication even greater but what do these things mean right here guys this means it's going for a strong sell so it's guaranteed to sell but what if it's light red that means it can switch up so right right here it's going for a you know a guaranteed sell but as you can see if it gets light that means it's weaker indication so you guys can see this candle went up so if you see a light green or a light red that is a red sign so make sure to be careful it, it might be a little riskier as you guys can see right here a strong buy based off the green but right here is a light green and you can see right here it switched off to a sell there's a red candle and guys this is a three minute trade you can do three minute two minute one minute it doesn't matter but you guys get the point of MACD. So let's just say this thing was right here. That is a strong indication in, you, in the red cross. That means it's going for a guaranteed sell. But as you can see, it's in an over bot right now. So that is why um, it's not that strong as you guys can see right here. It went back up and it's going back down. So it's based also off what the market is doing, what the country is doing, how the economy is going. So make sure to keep up with the news. Also the sh currency strength meter. So I use this currency strength meter to check. So it's Euro USD. So Euro is currently stronger than USD. 
so that means it would be going for a buy. That is why in the long run you can see it going having an uptrend right here because Euro is doing better than the USD today. Switches off so make sure to keep up with the currency strength meter and look at the news or if anything's happening, anything bad, anything good. You guys can see. So based off of this, you guys can see right here, I would not go for a sell because the indication, is, oh, well, the indication is going for, oh, I don't know. It's a little risky, guys. You guys can see. If, right now, I will go for a sell right now. Yep, I will go for a sell. So you guys can see, right now, it's in the oversold. So eventually, they're going to have to go back up. But as you guys can see, now, when trading, these help you a lot, you guys. You can see, right? You can make your money right here. Look at it was almost on the oversold it's right about the line right here and it crossed right here so I would you know and a good indication that it's going for a sell and you look right here eventually it's going for a sell again and it got weak right here those are two great indications right there guys to go for a sell so if you were into you know pocket options or any HFX uh, platform you would have gone for a sell and you most likely would have won. Remember guys you can't win every trade but you win the majority of trades. The majority. I'm telling you guys you win like 90%. You guys can see right here it was right a strong sell right here guys. That is great. You guys can see. Let is let's go for one. Let's check out the highest. Also, I recommend going for the highest payout rate. So I say 70% and above. So yeah, those are the best ones to go in. We're gonna have to wait guys but as you guys can see the three indicators you want to use is the MACD the stochastic RSI and the currency strength meter for this strategy guys also make sure to look at the news because the news does play a big part but as you guys can see See, it's going for a buy currently right now, as you guys can see right here. I'm gonna go in. This needs to go down now. We're gonna see. I went in based off of this, but I did not check. Yeah, but you guys can see right here based off the strategy. It, it switched over to a buy and now this is a great indication right here green and you can see right across right here it's going for a buy currently so based off of that yes <clears throat> so we're just gonna let it ride out remember guys we can't win every single trade so remember that keep that in mind guys oh yes I forgot to tell you guys last week I made legit a oh, what was it a thousand yeah I made over a thousand dollars trading on here and then I deposited everything and I only left like 90 bucks here and I didn't make a video on that which sucks it's very weird I'm not focused when I'm on you know camera I don't know why or when I'm streaming but when I'm by myself in my zone not streaming at all I mean, I'm pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. But as you guys can see right here, it's easy peasy. Still not guaranteed, but you know, based off of this, it is guaranteed. So I don't know. But we're just gonna fast forward it.
all right guys there you guys go i you know hit the nail on the coffin based off my strategy i won that trade you can see as you guys can see i hit that trade nail on the coffin i was up 15 pips guys i was up 15 pips hope that you guys enjoyed that that's how you do the strategies i will be making some lit content i'm telling you guys so make sure to hit the like button subscribe turn the post notifications and if you want more strategies or you know if you want to live stream let me know by hitting the like button if we get 50 likes i will do a live stream within the first week you guys made it this far also at 10,000 subscribers i'm giving away a nano ledger x from one of you guys so with that said, peace.